Hey, thanks so much for joining me again. Just thought I'd get this on tape. Tape. <laughs> like, still dealing in VHS. Thought I'd get this recorded just while again it's fresh in my mind. Um, and it's just new knowledge that I've recently learnt. So I just thought I'd share it. That's what I want to do. Occult knowledge again. Occult means hidden. So occult knowledge in my eyes is just knowledge waiting to be discovered. Because it's hidden, let's find it. Why is it hidden? Well, it's quite easy, isn't it, to answer that one. They don't want too many of us enlightened. Imagine a world where everybody had all this knowledge. There'd be no need for mainstream news, for one thing, would there? Or the brainwashing. There'd be nobody left to, to rule and control, manipulate, hence why it's all hidden, stroke occult, makes it sound like sinister doesn't it, occult, the actual word, just because it has the word cult in it, again very clever, because people are just afraid of learning, <laughs> um, yet they'll happily sit in front of the TV day in day out, they're not afraid to do that, that's the crazy world we're in. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try and make this brief, but it is pretty mind-blowing, so hopefully um, it will be followable. It's to do with Kabbalah. First of all, I just want to show how Kabbalah links as well with 9-11 uh, and also Skull and Bones number of 322. So let me just show you the 322 bit first of all. Three two two has a hidden nine eleven. I'm going to quickly show you that very, very simply. You take away its mirror, the reflection of itself, or the backwards version, whatever you want to describe it as. Take two two three away from three two two. You get the answer of ninety nine, don't you? Ninety nine is nine times 11. Very simple on that one. Now the actual Kabbalah tree of life itself also has a hidden 9-11 in the Sephiras, which is what I like to call them. It's written down there, Sephira. They're known as various other expressions as well. Let me just quickly show how 9-11 is encoded in the Tree of Life as well. So you take the Kabbalah Tree of Life, just flip it 90 degrees, and you'll see there, I've already saved that picture, but that Sephira there is one. They make an X, those five. Also those five. Still using obviously that one twice, and then that one. Roman numerals, that's nine, that's eleven. See how that works? Nine, eleven. Just by spinning that round. There's your first one. X and one, nine. Got another X there, and one for the 11. That's Earth, that's the connection to it all, by the way. Okay, so that was nicely paused on reverse pi, you may have noticed there. Four minutes, 13 seconds. Let's carry on with the rest of the video. Hope that was quite straightforward for you so far. These Sephiras. It's all to do with the infinite. Crash course in Kabbalah there. It's the ten attributes in Kabbalah through which Ein Sof, the infinite, reveals itself and continuously creates both physical realm and the chain of higher metaphysical realms. Notice as well the specific words of 
infinite and continuously creating it. it just doesn't stop it's just right all constant and it's basically to do with this is God there and it's then his connection to the physical realm through all those other sephiras which then link back to where we are here with earth okay and it specifically states there the high metaphysical realms which is that word there I'll attempt to say that Asida Hishtalesh Elis Hishtalesh Elis Hishtalesh Elis okay Sorry, I don't know if I've not pronounced that very well. Okay, so the Seder Hishtaleshalu there, it refers to the chain like descent of spiritual worlds between God and creation. Okay, just want to show you the Hebrew geometry for it. Again, this is something I'm learning. Now, um, I don't often look at the Hebrew gematria. This one obviously demands it because it's clearly to do with Hebrew. So let's show you it. So first off in the Hebrew reduction, see there it's 43, 43. 43. It's the 14th prime, okay? That's 43 in Hebrew reduced. 43, 14th prime. We know 14 is a duality, 7, isn't it? 7, 7. Fourteenth prime, seventy seven, seven plus seven, sorry, the duality is seven. That's the Hebrew reduced. For the chain like descent of spiritual worlds between God and creation. Again mentioned down there. Duality seven. You've only got to look at that Kabbalah tree of life and it's all sevens. There's a seven. There's a seven. There's a seven. You can see them all, can't you? There's a seven. Oops. There's a seven. It's full of sevens. Seven there. Seven again. There to there is a seven. And it's purely as well because duality seven, do one upside down and the other one, let's do a different colour just to sh represent it. There's your other seven. What's that? It's a lightning bolt. Seven, seven. It's from God. The lightning bolt to creation, which was for the Hebrew reduced of Cedar Hishtaleshalu 43, Hebrew reduced 14th prime 7. Lightning bolt, seven, creation. Also makes a three as well, doesn't it? Two sevens added together. Look. But it's more specifically the backwards one, and then another one there. Backwards, I've done it that way, sorry. That way, well, it's the same way. <laughs> seven. Seven joined together. Flash, it's not Flash Gordon that will save every one of us, it's only God. And again, that's what the word actually means 
a chain-like descent from the Kabbalah tree of life into the spiritual worlds between God and creation. The lightning bolt. The lightning bolt. Seven, seven. Oops. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. <laughs> See all those sevens on the Kabbalah tree of life. Okay. You'll notice as well, all of those reduced to seven. No coincidence either. Let's now move on to the Hebrew ordinal, 160. 160th day is June 9th. Six and nine. 69 represents the infinite. Time going inwards and outwards. So we showed the Hebrew ordinal of that is 160. 160th day is June 9th, 6, 9. Represents the infinite. Continuously creating. Goes round and round 69. That was for the Hebrew ordinal, 160, 160th day. Uh, June 9th, 69. That's also Pi in Jewish, 69. So, just a reminder of what we're talking about. The Kabbalah tree of life. We've got God up there, and it's the lightning bolt that he sends um to create the physical infinite higher metaphysical realms creates both the physical realm and the chain of higher physical realms so we looked at that word there because that is the chain like descent between God and creation, according to the Kabbalah tree of life. I'm showing the Hebrew for it. So just to finish it off now, they're both the same because it is the same um, letters, as you'll see there. 1735, yeah? In Hebrew Gematria. Uh, for the Seder, Hishtaleshele. 1735 then. Doesn't actually look like too much at first glance, does it? However, it's 5 times 347. It's only got two factorizations. They are both primes, okay? That's the third. I'm just going to stick three in the calculator, so we're following. Third prime, okay? That was for five. Five times three, four, seven. Three, four, seven is also a prime. Look what prime it is. <laughs> I've just been speaking about pi in Jewish 69. June 9th, it was the 160th day. So, we've got 3 times 69 there, haven't we? No wonder the key to the universe is 369. Because it unlocks the Kabbalah tree of life. It's the connection to God and the infinite. Tesla 369. Any quick Google search of Nikola Tesla will show you the lightning bolts. 
seven sevens. Seven, seven. It's Tesla 369, isn't it? That was for the prime factors. 347, 69th prime. Five is the three. So there's your 369. 1735 is your Hebrew. Gematria 4, the Cedar, Hishtaleshalu. Just what that is. As explained there. Chain like events. Chain like descent, sorry, spiritual worlds between God and creation. Tesla three times sixty nine factorization. So we had the three times sixty nine factorization for that Hebrew seventeen thirty five. That came to two oh seven there. Just want to show what two oh seven is in our calendar. That's exactly look as it says there. It's the midpoint of the year, so it's halfway through. It splits time into half, half and half. Two oh seven. Three times sixty nine is two oh seven. Three plus sixty nine. Is what? <laughs> 72. July 2nd. It's the same. Incredible, isn't it? Exactly halfway through the year. 72, of course. Add 72. Gets you the 144. Thanks so much for your time. Take care.